Hello everybody, Ali here with Ali So Crafty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install fashion metal snaps using the CAM DK93 table press. This is my go-to table press when I need to install metal snaps to any of my products. But not only is great to install snaps, it's also great to install rivets, magnetic snaps, and as I recently discovered, which I don't know why I recently discovered this because I should have known this before for many, many, many years ago, <laughs> that it's great to cut the hole on your material. <laughs> so I recently purchased the die to cut the holes on your materials and I've never bought it because I have never really installed grommets and so I always thought the die to cut the hole it was for the bigger holes not for the little holes that you need to have on your material when you're installing a snap or a ribbon and so I recently watched another YouTube video from another youtuber and she was she was showing the little ribbon the little hole and I was like wait a minute why am I struggling when I can just cut the fabric using this die? So I went ahead and got it and pff, mind blown, okay? Amazing. I should have bought it many, many, many years ago and I didn't, but now I did. And so I'm going to show you how to use it. We're going to cut the material together and we're going to install the metal uh, fashion snaps. Uh, to a product that I made. Now, I am not a, uh, Camp Snap is not sponsoring this video. I am not an affiliate to uh, any of their products. This is just an honest review. Uh, and a, I wanna show you the tools that I use when I'm making my bags or any other products um, around here. If at any point you like what you see, would you please hit the like button. It helps me more than you know. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, just hit the subscribe button and the notification. That way you can be notified when I upload the next video. Okay, you guys, here's how to install the snaps. If you make any bags or anything at that that requires a snap, Please do not waste your money buying anything other than a table presser. I am not an affiliate of Cam Snaps, but this is my table presser that I purchased from Cam Snaps. And it's extremely heavy duty. I mean, this thing is heavy. But once you have this tool, you are not gonna wanna try anything else. Like, I believe me, you won't. If you are trying to make several bags, if you're trying to make several little things that you are going to be pressing a snap, you're going to have to put several snaps, just do yourself a favor and get a table presser. Now, I have the DK93 table presser from Cam Snaps and it this is the dk93 kx adapter okay so you will put the adapter here on the base uh, it depending depends on the die on what it is that you're trying to uh, accomplish with this machine so if you want to add snaps like we're going to do today sometimes you need the adapter sometimes you don't depends on the snap before you add the snap, you have to do, you have to add a hole to your product. So I wanna use these two as an example of, to show you the difference between the table presser and an owl or any other tool that you may have. I used the hole puncher on this side and I used the owl on the other side and this is waterproof canvas so this is a woven material 
woven fabric. Okay, keep that in mind. Now this one is final. And again, I open the hole a little bit in there. I don't know if you can, you can see, but oh my God, I've done this like three or four times already. And it's still tiny, tiny in there. I'm going to do it on this side as well. And when I take it out, it's just not, the hole is just not big enough because the fabric wants to go back to its original shape. Right there, it wants to go back to its original shape. So what I did, and I wish I would have done it sooner, I purchased the uh, hole opener, a uh, hole punch, sorry. And this is the 2.5 millimeter top with a 17 millimeter bottom. Now the 17 millimeter bottom works for any top. That's the only size they have for the bottom, okay? And then the, the top, you get different tops depending on the size of your hole. Now for what I want to do, which is put snaps and rivets, this size is perfect, okay? I don't really need the bigger size. Now if you are going to do grommets, then you definitely need the other sizes. But if for what I need, which is to just open a hole to put my snap, this works. And because the base here of is, is smaller, the cylinder is smaller than the hole that the table presser has, you put the adapter and then you put the, the, um, the bottom die. Then you screw the top die like this, okay? And this is really simple you take your product that you have marked where the snap is going to go and you place it right here at the bottom and just make sure that you press the put the die where it's supposed to go and you just press it like that now it's gonna be a little heavy but there there it is it's a perfect hole perfect hole I mean perfect so now I can put my snap here or my rivet without an issue without having the fabric get in the way and uh, you'll see an example in just a moment now I'm going to insert the snaps and obviously I, will, I wanted to show you the difference between making the hole with a hole puncher or making the hole with the owl. This one, I did the hole puncher on this side and the owl on this side. So if I'm going to install my snap, say this part, which is like the longest side of this, the snaps have four four sides, four pieces. And this one is kind of like the longest. You see how it goes in there easily, no problem. It goes in there, no problem, right? Perfect. Okay, that works. Now, say I wanna put that in this side and um, it's going to go this way. This is the side that I open the hole with the owl, okay? If I try to put it in there, look, it's just not going in. It just doesn't go in. And so I'll have to go here again. Do this one more time. If I wait too long, it's not gonna go in. See, I did it again and it's just not going in. I have to go again. Try to insert it nothing okay now it came in. it's in there i mean that is just too much and that's the longer part of the snap imagine trying to insert this one
I mean, it's impossible. But if I do it on the hole that was open, that was made with a hole puncher, it's easy. It goes right in there. No problem whatsoever. That's with the waterproof camera. You saw how difficult it was. I'm just going to leave that in there because I don't feel like fighting with it. Again. Now with the vinyl. This, in this case, I used the owl for both sides of the hole. So I'm going to poke it again and I'm just going to try to get in that in there and it's just not coming through. Look at that. Just not coming through. Not coming through. I'm going to have to, this is too thick. It's just, it's not working. And even if I tried with the longer one, look, not coming through. So I will have to keep poking it with this over and over. Sometimes I even had to use scissors and just cut a little bit of the fabric there, the material to make it work. So forget that. I'm not doing all of that. You see? It just is going to save you time and aggravation. So I'm just going to install the hole puncher. Um, I need the adapter. Here's the base. And this is the 2.5 millimeter hole puncher. Okay, so I'm going to take this and wherever the marking is for the hole, I'm going to place that carefully there and just press and voila, look how clear it is. It's perfect. If I take my uh, the part of my snap and I just place it there, it, it's right there. I don't have to fight with it. I don't have to struggle. It's, it goes in no problem. The fashion metal snaps are consist of four pieces. So you have the exterior piece right here. Then you have the female piece right there then you have the exterior for the male piece you have the Audi okay there so for each piece you need a die Therefore, you have four different dies or two sets of dies. We're going to install this fashion metal snap right now. The pointy die is for the Audi, okay? So this one goes on the base of your table press. And it doesn't need the adapter base because it's big enough to fit in there just fine. And then for the top of the Audi is this die. And then we, uh, we just screw it up here. Here's my product. I already did the, the hole. I cut the holes already with the hole cut die so that's done and i want my i want my product to close this way this will be the exterior i want my uh, outer snap to be here so i just install it there well sorry i'm we're installing the audi first so i take the audi kind of like the base of it put it there and put it on my die and then I take 
the other piece and I install it right there and I just press it remember to press hard and that's it that is right there see how beautiful that is it's just it's perfect it looks so professional now we're going to do the other side and again I make sure that I'm installing it in, on the right side of the product so this is my uh, the outside of my snap that goes there now before I do that I have to change my dies so I'm going to remove this die and place the other the die for the other side of the snap so if you're making several of these then you want to you know do all the Audis first for example once you're done with that then you can do the the female version of the snap after you've done or vice versa but instead of so that way you don't have to keep swapping the dies back and forth and now you take the female snap and you press you press it right there and you'll hear the snap <laughs> it came off right there just don't touch it leave it there and then you're going to take the bottom, you know, the back of the snap that you want to show in the exterior. You're going to place it on your die like that. And you're going to press it hard. And voila, it's done. Look how pretty. And it opens and closes beautifully. and it looks really professional and it's going to last as heavy duty because it was pressed there you know uh, with a professional table press so it really will stay in place and it's like impossible to remove this snap from uh, your products <laughs>